Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's Tuesday, we're here for Facebook Live. It's going to be a quick one tonight because uh, we're headed out to the beach. And so I have just a little project for today, but I just, a uh, couple things I wanted to talk about. So uh, wait until a couple of you get on and we can do that. But um, hi Diane. I want to thank everybody who came to our last uh, Facebook Live. That was uh, a tutorial with Jenny, and it was great. Everybody had a great time. I made a couple of them. I did make a little change to it, but um, I'll, it was it was driving me crazy because they were so chunky. So I added another little score line, and, and then I'm happy. But anyway, that's just another way to say, you know, take what you learn and and go go however it works for you so hi laura mindy can't see who else there's kathleen hello i'm smiling but inside my stomach is going crazy because i spent all day doing a video for Sizzix that has to be out on thursday and i i don't know what i did but all of a sudden i it was gone and if I wasted this whole day doing a video, I'm going to scream. But I turned off my computer. I just shut it down. It's like, I, I just can't deal with it right now. <laughs> Hi, Simone and Sharon. How are you doing? Yeah, it was, oh, just bad. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Kriya. Linda, you finally had the time today. Oh, good, good. You tried the thing. Yeah, you know what I got from that, guys, is that we need to do more craft-alongs, don't you think? Because that was fun. I kind of didn't like to be <laughs> the guinea pig, but... <laughs> so you could be doing it at home, and no <laughs> no one knows the wiser if you uh, mess it up. But uh, anyway, it was, it was really fun, and I want to thank... Um, Jenny for doing it. It was, uh, I think something that maybe we should have been doing more of, you know, I just didn't know. So I'm happy that, uh, that went well. Maybe, maybe not me, maybe Jenny. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you know, I don't really, I don't think I ever did one before. So I didn't even know what I was missing. Hi, Janice and Teresita. Oh, hey, Brenda, that's the life sitting out in the trailer while your husband cooks. Yeah. Hi, Dolores. Hey, Laura. So anyway, what we're going to do today is very easy. We're going to be using our waterfall dies. Hey, Denise. So if you have them and you have some paper uh, and you want to just do it along with me, um, honestly, I just cleaned up from the video. So if I have to do that again. I swear I'm just going <laughs> to. It's so irritating. Oh, I don't even know what to do. I just want to smack somebody. <laughs> me. Hi, Mindy. So I do have some special guests, and there she is, Taylor. Hi, Taylor and Joellen. Um, I wanted to introduce you to some people who are in our group, and they're kind of helping me in the background, working on different things. And uh, so today we kind of had a funny thing happen. Um, my admin, Pam Bray, who you guys know, uh, she messaged me and she said, um, there's a guy trying to get, asking to get into our group. And his name is uh, Jacob Kaiser. And he says he's with Ellison. Do you know him? I said, no, I don't know him. And so, um, you know, we, we really do screen you guys because we don't want to get the trolls in here and bad situations and stuff like that. Hey, Kimberly. So Pam, I said, oh, well, I don't know him, but let me ask Taylor. So Taylor's in the group here. So Taylor says, oh yes, we hired him yesterday. <laughs> so Jacob, I want to apologize to you for um, almost not letting you in the group, but welcome. And welcome to Taylor and her sales team. Um, we've got Shelly Kafka in the group. We have Angie and Ghouls on. They're usually on Instagram, but um, Taylor's on sales, but we also, um, you know, everybody does everything. So anyway, I want to welcome them to the group and thank them for all that they do to help us, uh, you know, keep going and get our supplies and, and all our stuff. Oh, there's Jacob. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> do you forgive me? <laughs> 
it's, it's just my, you know, we're just trying to keep it a safe place here. Hi, Nina. Yes, better be safe. Hey, Helen Lewis. So anyway, that's what's happening. I want to thank everybody on the Sizzix team for um, all their help with what we do here. So, um, well, like I said, we're going to be using our Thinlets, the waterfall dye today. Oh, hey, Jill and Lisa. Uh, we're going to be making this little book, and it's really very simple. I just cut out a bunch of these pages. Oh, good. You forgive me. Good, Jacob. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and we're just going to use these to make a little book. That's not really what they're meant for, but as you know, on the blog this month, we're doing unconventional materials, unconventional ways of doing things and using the dyes. It's really fun. Oh, good. Everyone's saying welcome to Jacob. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. So uh, what we're going to do is just do that. And I honestly, I got so tied up Team Karen. I don't know who is there from Team Karen. Hey, Marty. Uh, let me see what else is new here before I turn the camera down. I already told you my sad tale of my lost video. Mm. Versatility, right, Helen? Um, if you want to watch the video, it may be up on um, Thursday on the Sizzix site if I can find it. So let's hope that tonight uh, we're headed to the beach right after this. So I need to send it over to Sizzix and let them upload it for Thursday. So I don't know what to do. But anyway, um, something's going to happen. On Wednesday, we're also, I'm doing a uh, an interview and a little project with uh, uh, Coast to Coast and her name is Audrey D. Jung, and she lives up in Canada, and she asked me to do an interview with her and kind of talk about what I do a little bit. So for those of you who haven't been here that long, uh, we're going to have like a little chat session, and we're going to do a project. I'm just going to show you how to use some of the new dyes, just maybe a little tip or something. Hi, B. So um, if you want to come on Thursday, that's going to happen at 1 o'clock Eastern, um, so we're not going to have a show in addition on Thursday because we'll be doing that one and the Sizzix Live. And this, the live is really fun. This is the project. I even have two of them. If I have to make it again, we can make a little caravan. <laughs> so if you want to see how to make this and I get the video to work, it will be on Sizzix at 11 o'clock Eastern time. Okay? So that's what's happening. Um, I think maybe let's just turn the camera down and get going on this project. My nose. Ugh. I don't know. I've been having allergies, guys. I don't know about you. Let me see if I can get my my video going over here. Yep, looks good. Let's see if I can see comments. Yes, I see comments. Hooray. Okay, that's one thing that worked <laughs> today. Okay, so let's turn the camera down and let's just go into this little book. Now there's a lot, a bunch of different ways that we can can go with it, and let, we'll talk about it when we uh, turn the camera down. But you can bind it even just with staples. You could punch holes and use a little elastic. Hi Denise, you're working on the camper. You need some tips. Okay, well, say a little prayer that it uh, that video is not gone because I just don't have time to reshoot it. <laughs> Yes, everybody has been amazing showing all your samples. And don't forget, um, if you haven't yet and you've done some projects with the uh, unconventional materials, put them over in the fan club and um, show us what you're doing. We're going to have a contest at the end. We're going to give prizes. So, you know, you want that. Hey, Debbie. All right, let me turn the camera down and we'll get going on this. It's very easy. Um, if you're working along with me, um, a pollen bomb. Good Lord, do we need that? Oh, um, oh you still don't have your craft stash one. Ugh, that's irritating. All right, well, let me show you what I did just to get going. I used two sheets of 12 by 12 paper, and I just cut them down to three and a half inches, and one is a little bit bigger. So... This is what they look like. They're double-sided papers so that we're going to have four different patterns in our book. And this is pretty paper. I had just gotten a 25-pack at Tuesday morning. And I think the colors don't go exactly, but 
it was an experiment and I don't really like anything that matches anyway, so we're in business. Hi, Miriam, how are you? Hey, Leanne, good to see you. So let's get going on this. And if you're here and you wanna work along with me, that would be great. If anybody has questions, just put them up in the group and hopefully I will see them. Honestly, you're, the writing is in white and it's against a light background, so I hope that I'll see it, but we'll, we'll give it a try. If not, I'll come back, I'll review it in the car because uh, we're gonna be driving for three hours after this. And hopefully we're getting ice cream after this day. <laughs> So the other thing that we're doing is we are using our waterfall dye, in case I hadn't said. Yes, I know, Helen. I, I hate to tempt you guys with the UK guys. Um, also, one more thing I wanted to tell you about, and this, sorry for UK friends. These are some pouches that I got over in Dollar Tree, and they're, they're cute, and they're lighter than the ones that I have been using, and they're bigger. They have a bigger section for me to put my dies in. So now some of them, I have two sets. So I have this set and this set, and they both fit in that little pouch, and I do like this one. The other one that I had, well, they were uh, more of a... Um, cloth or you know and they just weighed a little more and they were bulkier so anyway i do like these light ones and you can see through to know what what they are yeah they do work great bev all right let's turn the camera down now and i'll show you the little trailer again and hopefully i can oh geez all the mess ay 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 all right please lord let me not get cut off from this thing too oh okay amazon has it too all right well i am partial to the dollar tree as you know <laughs> so all right here we go this is what we're using today and like i said very simple project i also have gotten here's that trailer um and i did follow and we're using um materials that's an old map that i found at my dad's house so i like it because it's longer than the 12 inches you know all right so here's our little book i haven't put mine together yet but i did make some little um cards and some little tags i cut the slot added some flowers so these are really just using up your scraps to see what you have so i've cut out a bunch of stuff ahead of time thinking, you know, I would be editing my video until the very last minute, which is true. <laughs> anyway, if I want to dig in here, I have some other things. I don't know how they'll match, but here's one that I started the other night, and here I used like a little, um, I used some uh, book pages, and I just wanted to see like how big this could get. And I just wrapped a strip around it to kind of keep it together. Here's another little one. This was not even the right size, but you could, you know, I like that one. Except it's really bulky, so it would have to go on the front or something. So, hey. All right, how's everybody doing? Do you put the paper on the camper before it is cut? Yes, Leanne. Yes. Uh, it just cuts better that way, you know. All right. So anyway, we've got a lot of little stuff in here that I'm, I'm reassured if I need anything, I can put it in there. So let's just get started uh, making this little book. And here's the first one that I did. So let me show you how, how I did it. I cut this piece out of the waterfall element on your, um, you know, in, the, in this die set. So let me just, I cut two at a time and it, it cut fine. So I'll just show you how I did it. I'll do it on this side because you can kind of see. I just laid it in here and actually because I do have two sets, I cut two at a time, but I have really plenty to show you how to, how to do it. So I'm just going to roll it through. Let's just roll it back just to make sure. All right, so th this is really the only piece that I used. Hey, Brenda. It's 
says Brenda Towsley is watching like 50 times on there. Love the something extras. Yeah, it's fun to have those on hand. All right. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to say was on next Tuesday, we will do a craft along and I will put up a um, list of the uh, materials that you're going to need. And it's a really fun and kind of unexpected way to use the gift box die. So anybody that has the gift box die that looks like this, um, this is what we'll use on Monday. If you don't have it, I've got it in the Etsy store if you want to order one. There's m many ways to use this die, but this we're going to make a card out of. So it's really kind of goes together in a cool way. So I think it would be a good thing for a craft along. So hope you will come. All right. So what we did was we scored this, uh, well, it was built into it, you know, when the die cut it, it built in these little score lines, all right? And I'm only folding them over so you can see where they are. So whatever you're doing, you might want to just keep this because that's going to be our binding. So don't add anything that crosses over that line there, okay? Okay. So what I did on this one was I just took two pieces of the little things here and I glued them together here and here. And I might have done here too. Yeah, I think I did. So this is its own little pocket really. And then I also used this die to cut a slit right here so that that's where I'm going to put my little pocket piece, okay? And I added the little circle from here on that because I like adding little pops of color everywhere. I love that paper. It's like little swatches. And then this one is kind of, um, you know, it's, it's kind of got the pattern on the sides. Uh, this one is... I think this is the one that has most of the pattern. It's really pretty. It's butterflies. But because this is uh, so small, you don't really get the whole impact of that that's a butterfly. I mean, you'd have to line it up so that you could see. But anyway, you could journal on this. This really would be pretty good for doing that. So then I just cut a stack of them. So I thought, let's go through and just make a couple more little pockets. Now this one I cut... And uh, this one, I put my glue here and here. So then I tuck this little tag in. So let's go ahead and make some, okay? All right, I'm not going to cut them because I already have a stack here. But if you haven't done it, go ahead and cut, cut some. And then let's put them together. And you just want to kind of combine them in different ways. Like, I like that piece, so that could be the front. And this has a direction, you know, which you wouldn't necessarily see if you wanted to use um, that inside. You could, you know, switch it, but you do have your score line here. So that's why I went ahead and I bent over on all the score lines so I know where I really want to have my working area. So uh, I think what I'll do on here is... I'm going to glue these down and make another pocket so we can do one of each. So let me move this other stuff out of the way so you don't get confused, which I'm already confused. It's been that kind of day. But, you know, you got to keep going, <laughs> even if you don't want to. All right, so I'm just going to run a little line of glue down here. Jacob, I hope you're hanging in there. <laughs> I hope Taylor's not working you too hard. All right, and then I'm just going to run this down the side. It doesn't really matter. This is going to be its own little pocket. So you could use this separately if you wanted and put it in a journal as a little pocket. But I think what I want to do is make... I didn't let that dry long enough. I want to make like a little tag book kind of thing. So here's some of the tags that I cut. That's pretty. I love that one. You know, and then you can use these strips, like on this one, I stuck that on there. You know, so I did cut more elements, but the main one is going to be the book 
structure. So here's some more tags. And, you know, you can flip them over so they look different. And this one is the piece right here that can go on the front of your waterfall like that. So you could do like a cute little mat, you know, on the front or, I don't know, something that would stand out. Uh, so, all right, so we have our little pocket here, so we can figure out what to tuck in. Now this one, I used the card, like that, and I just added a little thing to the side, but you wouldn't have to. You could put a tag on the back and use that to pull it out, or on the front. You could use a flower, or... This is kind of fun. This is from another die, but th this is a great thing about it that you can mix and match uh, other dies with it. So let's just glue this on the back and we can use that as a little pull. Get our tag out, our little page out. Just kind of center that. All right, so we already have one little thing to go in. Now if you have any like lace or fun uh, accents, you can add them in. Now that one's kind of tight. You know what? Actually, I might just save that to go in another way. Let's do this. This tag, that can go in there. And let's add one of these little reinforcer things. I can find one. There's two sizes, and one of them is more, is the smaller one is the one that works. So that will be cute. Did you guys ever do that? Do a video and lose it? It's like um, writing a big long email and just poof, gone. Ugh. All right, so the other thing that you can do is you could, and I don't usually do this, but they're kind of pretty, and they they the, they make it stand out if you want to distress this. Normally, it's like an extra step, and I just don't want to do it, but I think today I will, because I don't know why. I'm just gonna... You know what? I can't see you guys in the comments. All right, what's going on? I see Brenda Towsley like a hundred times that says she's watching. <laughs> Brenda, are you the only one watching? <laughs> All right, so I'm just using my makeup brush, and I do like this. I've been... Oh, look at that. It really does add some dimension. And it looks old, which this isn't, but... And this would be pretty, even if you just use, like, dictionary pages. You know, you don't have to be fancy. Or scraps, any scraps that you have. Doesn't that look cool? Let's just do a little on the back. I feel like this is something in my control. <laughs> Unlike the video. Oh, there. Now somebody said something. Marion. Just snuggled in bed watching you craft. Oh, too late. Okay, yeah. It is too late. Well, maybe on the Thursday. Then maybe we should do the craft-alongs on Thursdays, because then you guys are up later. It's still 9 o'clock. Sorry about that. At least I'm not in California, because then it would be really late. Early. No, it would be late for you. <laughs> I still have my clocks. Did I, did I show you this? So I know in the UK it's 11.30, and the Pacific time zone is 3.30. <laughs> it's the only way I can understand time zones. I'm challenged. <laughs> All right, I think I'll just ink a little bit of this too while I'm at it. That looks nice. Do you guys like to ink a lot or no? Or does it depend on the project? I would say it's kind of like that for me. But that's cute. So you can add, now these are um, butterflies from the Birds and Butterflies die. And that was, remember we did the project with the wallpaper? I cut this out of scraps of wallpaper. I love the dimension there. And you know what? That would be cute. So you can see the pattern a little better. So let's do this while we're at it. Oh, what the heck. This might be one of those times. 
that we distress a little bit because I am distressed today. <laughs> Luckily, I'm feeling better because I'm doing something that is not technical and I can control this. All right, let's see what we have. Here's our first page and our little tag and let's keep everything together. Let me put that little page. Well, this could go. No. So I kind of like that they can be separate or you can put them together for a book. And my thought is to make it a book, because we're adhering these pages together, that we can just glue in between them. And then, you know, you can easily turn the page because that score line is already built into it and you know you could just make yourself a little book and really you could add on to it if you wanted you know all right let's see where we are we have here's another page oh this is what goes in here i don't know now i'm feeling like do i need to distress this one maybe you could just have that little butterfly peeking out so it was a long weekend, another drive to New York, and I'll tell you what, that drive is getting old. It just, I can't make it anymore, because my mom gets up at like 7 o'clock in the morning, and I am not a morning person, so I'm tired when I get up. And then I really don't get rest, you know, and then I have to drive. So that was a long, long, tiring drive on the way home, so... I think I'm home for a couple weeks now, so hopefully, except we're going to the beach tonight. <laughs> we have it rented out, the house, for most of the summer, so that's a good thing. All right, there's two. Here's another one. We might as well do that one while we're at it, wouldn't you say? All right, let's see if... I don't know. I'm seeing Brenda again. Well, I'm glad you're watching, Brenda. In the luxury of your beautiful trailer. Did you guys see the video of Brenda's trailer? Just makes me want to go out and fix up Scotty and get on the road. Okay, so we could put a little piece of... Um, seam binding here so we could pull that let me see i think i have some yeah this is cute little piece of green probably too long but oh eileen sleep dervish i know it isn't great it's horrible but and then i sleep when i get home but still I had to pull over twice last week when I went because I was on the Jersey Turnpike, which is the most boring road, but it's scary because there's trucks and people are cruising pretty fast. So I just pulled over and slept, but I didn't get home till 3 in the morning, and that did not feel good. I'm just not used to it anymore, being home, you know. Well, I've been doing trips up there, but not... I don't know. Not two in a row. <laughs> anyway, Mom is doing okay. All right, so let's trim that off. Another cute little tag for our book. That one looks really white now, but oh well. All right, so we've got three little signatures here. Let's see what else we have. Is anybody else doing this while you're sitting there? I mean, this is fun to do in front of, like, TV, I would think, or videos. Let's see what we don't have. All right, we have that one. We have that one. We don't have one like that. So let's do an up and down pocket like that. Uh, is that what we did already? <laughs> yeah, we did two sides. All right, let's put a little uh, slot in here because that's kind of fun. All right, so all you're gonna do, now you could get some purple tape, 
and lay this on here if you wanted, but I didn't do it. But you have to let, get your magnet in the right place so it's straight. And then let's run that through. And that is handy. Honestly, when I designed this, I wasn't thinking of using it in this. Oh, I did the wrong side. What a dork. All right, well, this is just not my day. <laughs> uh, I think it moved. Guys, sorry. I, I don't know what to say. It's one of those days. And I have to hope that my husband is going to wait for me because he's like, I want to get right on the road um, to go, but I want to see if I can get that video back. Otherwise, I'll be doing that at 3 in the morning. <sighs> okay, so that's a cute little slot. And then, uh, what does she say? It is paper from the adhesive sheets. I'm sorry, Lisa. It's like Linda. Linda Zambori. Eileen, Sharon is right. We miss you in UK. You'd love to come over to visit. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, we would have to have a road trip, Sharon. And I was talking to Sharon Curtis about it, too. Wouldn't that be? Ah, uh, it's time. You know, it's now or never. It's like, shoot. You know, the one thing that I am glad about is that I did go on the road when I did, because otherwise I would just be wishing I had done it. And now I already did it. But I'd like to do it some more. Okay. All right, so what do we want to put in here? Let's do some kind of little, that might be cute. Under there. Why not? I think I cut that too small, but. Ah. Uh. Does anybody have any trips planned? We don't really. We're going out to the beach for 4th of July with the kids, but that's about it. We had to reserve our own house. <laughs> okay, so here's a pretty little tag we can put in there. Uh, here's that other one. Let's see, maybe that'll fit in here. So you have to keep your glue way right over to the edge or else it'll get all, you know, thick. All right, well, you know what? Let's see, what else can we do? Let's, let's color that a little bit. We can always cut more. Anyway, you see where this is going, guys? Nothing hard. But just cute. I do want to bind this. So let's let's just do this one. I can always add on after. And um, let's put this together. Oh, and the other thing that I did was I cut a thumb hole somewhere. But I think I forgot already. But you could do it on both of them. Um, where do we want to put that? We could do it up here. And then remember to just kind of, I want to center that, but close enough. All right, well, we could chop this down or we could fold it or we could go like this and make like a little, little booklet or a pocket, right? Uh, I can't see what you're saying. Camping trip in the woods in the weeks. Oh. In August, we're going to Savannah. K 
can't see who that is. D.E. Debbie. All right, so we can make another little thing. Let's put a flower on it or something. We have all this stuff in here. All the little things go to the bottom. Mm. I don't like that color with... Oh, that's cute. Let's just give that a little... This is from another set, not the latest one. But mix and match. I mean, I'm not going to throw them out. I, when I cut them, I just throw them all into this little bin. And when I'm ready and I need them, I can use them. It's kind of cute. Kind of doesn't stand out too much. But you don't want anything too dimensional because it's going to get pulled apart probably. So this is a little dimensional but I'm gonna flatten it. And we could just glue it down but anyway there's a cute little kind of a booklet. Could write in there. Alright so once we're done with this let's let's uh, finish up and then I'm, I'm going to have to get off and see if that video is still on my iMovie. Probably would fit in here, too. You know, you could fit a little thing in here. Anyway, this is just kind of a fun little project. It's nothing... But, you know, it would be nice to tuck it into... Uh, For a little gift or to to um, use these separately in your journals all right well let's put this together so all I'm gonna do wait now what did I have that for who knows well, maybe should we do one more yeah let's just glue these up so what I'm gonna do I guess I would decide which one I want to put on the front and the order, what order do I want to put it in? So I would probably go hmm. Okay, so I'm going to just glue here. Man, this thing is really clogged up. Drives me crazy. All right, and then I would just kind of lay it on the table like this and press. You're planning on staying 10 days, so maybe you can have a trip to Hilton Head. That sounds good. Oh, yes. Now, see that one, I should have done on the front because you're not going to see it if I glue it. Maybe I, I still can. That's kind of the fun thing about it. All right, let's put that on the front. And like I said, I might just keep these separate until I knew what I wanted to do with them. But the thing that I like about it is that, all right, these are pretty stiff because they've got a lot of stuff in them. And this card, I think, is too fat because we did that. So probably be better with a tag. It would bend easier. It's the same as that other one, but you get the idea. See, that bends better. Aren't they cute, though? All right, one more. Uh, oh, I like that side. But the score line's over here, so I gotta go there. Those are pretty... Well, you can't have enough little books, right? You're late, but you're here. Hi, Darlene. All right. We're just, hey, Mitsuyana. 
yeah, we're just making this little book. Um, we use the waterfall die and we just basically glued all the spines together and now we've got a little book and we can add whatever we want to it. So here's another one. That's a little bit, sticks out a little bit so we could, oh, isn't that pretty? We can make a little pocket. Tuck something in there. Oh, there's also those little, wait, I'll show you. These, um, you know, the little pocket things. Where did they go? These. You know, you could tuck something like that in there. That doesn't match, but like this. You know, you could cut them out of this paper. Anyway, that's my big, <laughs> big experiment for the day. So here's our little book. I might clip these together because that seems to be coming apart. So let's reinforce the glue here. And if there's anywhere else that looks like it's coming apart, just do that and then take your little clips from Dollar Tree and clip them together till it dries. And that's it. You two are so sweet. They should fit in the folio pocket. Oh yeah, they'll fit in here, Sharon. These are little. These are um, three inches by three and a half. Yeah, I think you could fit them in there easily. Yep. So that needs a little tag so it comes out easier. But that's today's project. But come back on Thursday. We're going to have a little interview thing. And then um, on Tuesday, we'll do a craft along. And I will be more organized, I promise, because I will not have a trip to New York. I will have all weekend. I'm caught up on my deadlines pretty much, except for this video. And life should be normal again. I keep thinking that, but it never is. <laughs> and if this is normal, no, <laughs> I don't like this. Anyway, thank you guys for coming and for putting up with all this nonsense and, um, Sorry, um, Jared, <laughs> Jacob, for, uh, <laughs> for everything. You, you'll grow to love us. <laughs> I promise. Right, Taylor? I don't know if they're still here. I'm just going to poke these out while I'm thinking about it. So, guys, um, thanks so much for coming, and we'll see you on Thursday, okay? Ah, I'm going to the beach. Life is good. Maybe I'll actually go to the beach. All right. Let me see what else. You tried to get UK shipping from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, Helen. It is pretty good. They should open one over there, but you guys have the tiger. Tiger is nice. Wouldn't be a Dollar Tree success if you didn't come home with a few extras. That's true. Jacob, welcome to our crazy family. <laughs> Have fun and relax. I will do that, Donna. Oh, I'm just praying that that video will be there when I go back. But if not, I don't know. I have to stay home. Or take all my junk and do it again tonight. Ah, okay. Well, it is cute. That fits in there. Look at that. All right. I'm going to go, guys. See you soon. Thank you.
Bye.